But next, the answer to the question, what's your sign? Well, it's not as easy as it used to be. We found out this week that uh, we may not be the sign that we always thought we were. <laughs> we're bringing in an astrologer to explain. All right, there's a whole lot of buzz about a new revised Zodiac chart released this week, and it's stirring up a a lot of controversy too and a whole lot of confusion so we went looking for help susan miller is an astrologer and the founder of astrologyzone.com she's joining us right now from new york uh, so susan <laughs> before this segment what was your sign <laughs> and what are you now uh, <laughs> no everyone is exactly the same sign as they were before really? there is no difference this is not a new concept. Well, what is this? What is uh, this? This fiacus, or how are you? I don't even know how you pronounce it. And what is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, first, let's go back to the, the press release that started all this. I think the scientist had mentioned all this as an aside, didn't uh -huh. really mean to stir up this controversy, and was quite bewildered when a firestorm of media descended on, on these comments. The idea that the constellations have shifted somewhat yeah. actually originated back with Hippocrates of Nar Narcia, Nar Narcia, which started back in um, 125 AD approximately. This is ancient Greece. We knew about it then. <laughs> and uh, it really has no bearing on Western tropical astrology. Okay, so uh, how if I was a May... Capricorn before Friday when this was you know, first reported, I'm mm -hmm. still a Capricorn today. You are. Yes, well, and I was what is telling this new dynamic? Uh, Where, I mean, why do why do we care about this man with well, the first of all, exactly. the and all that? No, no, no. Uh, it, that that constellation actually did exist in ancient days. It was part of the constellations, okay. but the ancients felt it was not important. Okay. So we're going to pull up this and, chart. Uh, and because this chart it has been um, devised as a result of this. Is it Ophiuchus? Am I saying I right? know. Okay, this Ophiuchus, which means it shifts everything yes. by about a month. So while I may have been a Gemini no, no, all my life, now, according to this, I'm a Taurus. And I tell you now, based on all the characteristics from what I've known, a Taurus and Gemini to be, I am a Gemini. <laughs> so no, you say no, no, no. <laughs> Ignore it. Here's why. The <laughs> constellations don't give you your personality. Planets do. Mm. First of all, that extra constellation doesn't even have a planet ruling it. If you don't have a planetary ruler, you don't have any personality characteristics. It's insane. <laughs> Each sign has a ruler. For example, you're mm. a Capricorn, did you say? I'm no, sorry. I'm what actually a Gemini. I was using Cap my Capricorn friends a as Gemini. an example at the top. I'm, I'm a Gemini. Ah, uh, mm. you are ruled by Mercury. Of mm -hmm. course, you're in the news business. You would be a, a Gemini. But the constellations don't give you your characteristics. They have moved in time, but they have no bearing on astrology. There are two different things that don't intersect and the scientist <laughs> who put forth this is not an astrologer and he even had to make so another comment him. and say <laughs> yes I all know. the astrologers are I, I i could get technical but i'm mm. afraid i'll just confuse people even more <laughs> well you're so smart no, and, we, and it's all really convincing i still am confused except that i like that you're telling me no no tell I me get to stay tell me what's what I believe that I have no, been no, all see, these years. Yeah, I, there is a whole branch of astrology who ha, that has studied sidereal astrology. That's what this whole new thing is. We've been studying it for decades and hundreds upon hundreds mm. of years, generations of astrologers. When we shift things, it's actually 23 degrees, we find astrology doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Astrology is based on the uh, beginning of the equinox in spring being Aries <laughs> and what an incredible and it's, they, it's related to the se to the seasons so I could get technical but I'm mm -hmm. afraid it's going to be like kittens and yarn people yeah. won't be able to we get don't out of do that okay so then when we open up the newspaper and I read you know the horoscope I just want to know what's happening to me today what could happen etc I'm going to stick with the plan and I'm not going to see you a in, in there it. now right 
Yes, so I just wrote hard. a book, The Year Ahead 2011, oh, right. and uh, that's our guide. And now, huh? you know, I can tell you which sign is going to have money, which sign is going to have career, which kind of, you know, all the goodies that you have to look forward to this year. <laughs> that's right. 2011 is going to be a good to. year. We like that. Positive yeah, picture. it is. And instead of getting all stirred up about this, let's focus on the positive parts of life. <laughs> let's do There's that so always. I like right that half last full, believe. <laughs> all right, Susan Miller, thanks so much. Appreciate that. Half last full, beginning with you remain what you think you have been all these years <laughs> in terms of the zodiac yes. sign. And, and the book again, hold up the book. Uh, it's quick, the year uh, ahead, 2011, ahead. which is oh, only available on my uh, astrologyzone.com site, but also mm -hmm. on the Nook and the Kindle uh, oh. on Amazon and Barnes. All right, fantastic, and Susan. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye bye.